a steal from the Sacramento Kings. Not from an opposing team, but rather from a former top executive. Jeff David has agreed to plead guilty to wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. What's going to come out in the court is that approximately nine million had been wired to the Kings from Golden One, okay, and then another approximately four million had been wired to the King to Mr. David's account that was looking like it was a King's account. That was from Kaiser's. According to the plea agreement signed today, David diverted more than $13 million from two of the King's top sponsors to purchase two beachfront homes in Southern California. But David was caught and quickly agreed to cooperate with federal authorities. It was then liquidated really quickly through his cooperation, and those funds were made available and brought back to the United States Attorney's Office. The U.S. Attorney is currently holding those funds in trust for Golden One, Kaiser, and the Kings. The team today released this statement. It says, We are grateful to the officials at the FBI and the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of California for their hard work and swift action to hold Jeff David accountable and to recover all of the Kings organization's assets. Today's plea the agreement means the Sacramento Kings will be fully reimbursed for the millions of dollars embezzled from them by their former chief revenue officer. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. KCRA 3's Mike Lurie joins us now with more on what you've found. Mike? Lisa, Jeff David is the former chief revenue officer for the Sacramento Kings before leaving to take a front office job with the Miami Heat, but now he's admitted to skimming money from team sponsors to buy some very expensive real estate. He knows what he did was wrong. Okay. Defense attorney Mark Reichel talking today about his client Jeffrey David. The former King's executive agreed to plead guilty today to defrauding his former team and two corporate clients, Golden One Credit Union and Kaiser Permanente, out of $13 million. The minimum he will get is a sentence of 24 months in federal prison pursuant to this plea agreement we signed today. According to court papers filed today, David used the money to buy two beachfront homes in Southern California. The money had always been tied up in high-end real estate down in, in Southern California, where he felt it was always secure and never really a problem to be liquidated quickly. The U.S. Attorney's Office is holding the money now from the sale of the beach homes in a trust fund account for distribution to Golden One, Kaiser, and the Kings. The plea agreement, once it's signed here in federal court, will bring closure to an open wound that can now heal with full reimbursement to the Kings. The team today released this statement. It says, we are grateful to the officials at the FBI and the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of California for their hard work and swift action to hold Jeff David accountable and to recover all of the King's organization's assets. And both Kaiser and Golden One did not wish to comment today. Jeff David was out of town, but he is expected to appear before a judge coming up next month in January. So how much time could he serve behind bars? His defense attorneys are asking for the bare minimum. Two years behind bars, they say, is because he's remorseful. But prosecutors want a lot more. They say that eight years is really more like it, and that's what they're shooting for. We'll know more, of course, when the judge hears him for sentencing coming up early next year.